Have we changed trails yet? No, we're still on the Phantom Trail. Okay. But we're on the back of the property here. Yeah. Kind of the furthest most point. We've entered into forest. And there are a lot of different forest types around here. Kind of off in the distance, you got the pines. I can't identify the trees, as Ryan said at the beginning. There's we're a not, lot of them. There's a lot of them, and we're not tree experts, but I think we're in sumac and some other maples. And burrs? Burrs could be, sure. That's something he mentioned. This looks gorgeous down here. Spin around if you got 360 controls while I'll spin you around. That is really like that. It's a definite savannah, savannah feel. We've been seeing a lot of burns. It's a topic for our hikes these days. Yeah. And there's been some burns around here, controlled burns. So we did some research in the car. What's the purpose of the burn? And there turns out there's a couple of purposes depending on what your land management goals are, such as? Let me pull it out. Okay. <laughs> well, one of them is fuel management, you know, reducing the amount of burnable fuel on the ground. And uh, out west, when you have uncontrolled forest fires, doing controlled burns to reduce the amount of fuel that would otherwise burn in an uncontrolled burn makes a lot of sense and supposedly uh, the carbon footprint is significantly less as would make sense a uh, controlled burn is going to burn a lot less than an uncontrolled burn so that would be a good thing so a wildfire is going to cause a much bigger carbon footprint than yeah than a controlled burn which prevents a massive wildfire yeah and of course if there's houses in the way then you got other things not just human lives but the toxins that come off of a house burning down are much worse than just, you know, having carbon burn from trees that would otherwise be there. Controlled burning is any fire intentionally ignited to meet specific land management objectives, such as to reduce flammable fuels, restore ecosystem health, recycle nutrients, or prepare an area for new trees or vegetation. So in the Midwest, we don't really have a lot of forest fires. <laughs> no. Um, and I think what we're coming to the conclusion, what we have is a lot of buckthorn and invasive species. And uh, ecosystem preservation is one of the land management goal concepts. We looked up buckthorn and apparently buckthorn and some other invasive species tend to grow a lot in areas that don't have frequent burns. So, put controlled free... or uncontrolled. They, they yeah. grow in places that are not very flammable, is what I got out of it. Yeah. So putting a little flame down can control that invasive species, theoretically, I guess. Now, I think the next step is to actually ask somebody like you if you guys know the answers to some of these things, we love to hear about it. There's the controlled burn that we passed yeah. by earlier. Yeah. It's like really far out, but we were just driving on the road to get here and there was, the whole town was in smoke and we could smell that it was controlled burn happening. But yeah, if you have any experience with controlled burns or knowledge as to why, please leave a comment below. Let's start a discussion. Let's talk about it.